Woo! This is it. <laughs> These are the vibes you need. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, Nathan Schmidt dropped a new play series a few weeks back that I missed. Uh, one that I think could be a great tool in your R&B toolbox, if you haven't already got it. And it's called Duets. Now, like I said, it's been out for a few weeks already, so you may have seen some videos on the play series. However, I wanted to show you how an R&B producer like yourself and myself may use a play series like this, as this is an R&B play series made by R&B producers with R&B vocalists. Let's get it straight. <laughs> so I've got this little percussion loop that I've put together just to give us a little vibe, and I want to lay down some keys as our foundation. Cool, so the first sound I want to use from Duets is one of my favorite sounds from the Play series, and it's a talk box bass uh, sample sound. That's what this pack is, vocal samples and synths. And this sound is called Dope, and it contains samples of a guy on a talk box performing bass notes. These notes are real short, so they're perfect for that simple but bouncy bass line. So that's the kind of vibe you go for when writing or performing those talk box bass lines. Real simple, because the intricacies will tend to come from the riffs and the runs you'd put over the top. And this play series has those, plenty of those. But even if they do sound really good, I'd probably stay away from using them in an actual record as they're very distinct and a lot of other people will go about using them. I will show you how you can use them but for now let's ignore those and move up the keyboard as you're going to find some great sounding samples here too. And this is where it's really out for me. Woo! This is it. <laughs> These are the vibes you need. Listen. I absolutely love this sound. If you listen carefully, there's actually two notes being played here. There's a quick little trill adding to the vibes, and this is something you'd probably do with the pitch bend, but it's already baked in here for you. What do you think of these sounds so far? Let me know down in the comment section below. This play series has a ton of sounds like this that you can use to compose parts like we just did. And that's how I would personally use these types of sounds. And if you did want to use those riffs, I'd suggest using them sparingly and to complement what you've already done as opposed to the other way around. Listen. See how it sits nicely in the arrangement and it follows that chord change. So that works really well in this example. So this was a super quick video to give those that already own duets a bit of inspiration and those that don't an idea of how they could use this pack or this play series rather if they were to pick it up. If you haven't already got it and want to pick it up, um, you can use the link down in the description below and I'll get a small commission on the sale at no extra cost to you. This helps the channel, which is needed as I've been taking some time to write my first course. So if you're interested in that and getting early access, the info will be down in the description below also. Next week, we'll be checking out some more TalkBox sounds. So make sure you're subscribed for that. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beats making.